I'm Brody from Brody Chapel Builds, and this is my shop. I build custom furniture out of local materials and uh, do build-outs for local small business. After high school, I uh, started like my father's contractor, so I started slinging lumber for the guys. I was just a laborer, and then quickly grew um, over 15 years to being one of his lead finished carpenters. Things just all of a sudden clicked one day. It was more than just, just like more than just money to me. There was a point where I started studying, it, like all the ins and outs of the trade. And then eventually, as I was doing more and more, woodwork started to really appeal and I started studying that. And so yeah, I remember two years before um, I went on my own, I kind of mentioned it to my dad and he said, there's not enough work out there. With a straight face, he said, you're gonna starve. And that really stuck with me and uh, just kind of made me a little bit more focused, really wanted to to win and, and achieve greatness, like LeBron once said. <laughs> I know there's not a whole lot of people that are making custom furniture and, and uh, doing those small business build outs in town and I know it's a, a specific market. I love helping these small businesses like um, have an appeal, a curb appeal, stand out versus the, the big box stores. Like that's where I look at the commercial side of things. Just doing stuff outside the box. Everybody seemed to be doing the same thing and I just wanted to do something different. There's a certain connection that I get using local materials. Um, it, it's hard to get, so I've been working with local arborists to acquire some local logs and milling it myself. And, and it was really like uh, the Dutch elm disease that struck all the local elm trees in, in Charlottetown, where they were trying to get rid of these 150-year-old trees and the only issue with the Dutch elm was it was into the bark and the, the wood was perfectly good so all you had to do was kiln dry it. I've made a couple dining tables with it and it's beautiful stuff. So that got my wheels turning um, thinking that hey I don't need to source my wood from Quebec, New Brunswick or, or further away. Um, that the stuff we have here is just as good. It's got character, it's got a story to tell I'm just really proud to be from Charlottetown, so it's 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 just rad. I freaking love it. But to actually say like, yeah, I sourced this from Upper Prince Street, and it was taken down at an old heritage home that just needed a little bit more sunlight. It just means so much more. I don't want to do something that everybody else is doing. I like to bring a, a certain flavor to a project um, or a piece of furniture. I like thinking outside the box and working with those that are willing to take those risks and uh, and using local materials that just adds to it. it gives it another story to tell